Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to show you how to use Home Assistant templates, Blueprint and also services like Node-RED. You can completely eliminate Node-RED and implement everything with your own Home Assistant automations. More details after the intro. Enjoy! Home Assistant has, as is well known, introduced blueprints. I can't remember if it was this year or last year. Since then I have used them regularly to automate, for example, light switches. Overall, it's actually a pretty cool idea. The easiest way to create a blueprint is to make it public and thereby share it with others. So, if you are looking for a blueprint yourself, it is worth taking a look at the Home Assistant forum to see if someone has already created a template for the corresponding light switch, for example. However, this also has a disadvantage, as the page with the blueprints has now become completely overcrowded with various templates, and most of the time, you cannot find exactly the automation you had in mind. In my case, for example, I wanted to have a light switch that I could turn off with a slash and set the brightness to 100% with a double click. Accordingly, I thought I would tackle the topic of my own Home Assistant automation again instead of handling everything through, for example, Node Red. And I noticed that there have been quite a few changes to the automations and they are now much easier to implement. And I thought I would give you a couple of small tips so that you can definitely implement such automations yourselves. But I would say, let's just jump directly into the Home Assistant dashboard and go to Settings, Automations and Scenes and create a new automation here. As a trigger, I choose MQTT here, since I also use Zigbee to MQTT and I will give Light Switch, one as an example topic. It receives a payload, in my case, for example, on. And of course, this light switch can also be turned off. Accordingly, there is also a second MQTT message that can be received, again on the same topic, but this time with the message off. This would be my demo switch, with which we can implement everything. In the past, I created two different automations for both turning on and off, one to turn everything on and one to turn everything off. In the meantime, you can create an ID by clicking on the three dots above, and this term ultimately just represents a state that the automation remembers which we can later use to determine why this automation was triggered in the first place. So either through a turn on command or alternatively through a turn off command. To then break down these messages we can add an action here and select a choose action. As option one we select the conditions triggered by and choose the trigger on for example. So now we would have the automation. As an action I will choose to add the light and here comes my second tip. You could simply go to device here and then take, for example, the office one light. However, now you only have that one light and can turn it on, off or switch it, as well as um, adjust the brightness and so on. However, if there are multiple office lamps, I would have to do this individually for each lamp here. Alternatively, you can also create a scene or a group. However, I would like to not select the group here as I naturally have several devices in this room and only want to turn on the lamps 2001. Alternatively, you can simply add an action and choose to execute a service here, which sounds quite strange at first. But if we specify light here now, then there is a, a light on option and we can already see a significantly larger selection. Now we can simply click on select devices here and then I can choose light one. It's also super easy to add the other lights and I would control them all at the same time. What I can also do is that it now automatically recognizes that in my case, they are warm, white and cold white lamps, and it can now also set the color temperature that should be chosen when turning on. Additionally, the brightness with which everything should be executed, or here a transition brightness step and so on and so forth. So you see you can now set much more here than if you simply selected the device. The same applies to switches and so on. So it's best to check beforehand if you can implement your automation using the service execution, which can simplify the whole process a bit. So now we have built the light switch button, however I would like to set my lamps without brightness for now as I am using a service that adjusts the lamps according to the time of day. But the second time I press the button, I would like to set the brightness to 100%. To implement this, there is another small helper here. Specifically, there is the option to wait for a trigger. If I select this, I can say to continue on timeout. So, the whole thing should be finished when the time is up. Here we set it to 10 seconds. This means that if the trigger is executed within 10 seconds, the automation will continue. Otherwise, it will be terminated. 
As a trigger, I will of course select MQTT again here, the same topic, and the on button. This means that the automation will only continue if the on button was pressed within 10 seconds. So we select add action here, again choose execute service, also turn on the lights for devices 1, 2 and 3, and this time with a brightness of 100. For the sake of completeness, we will now do the same for the off switch. Here I add an option, condition triggered by off, add action, execute service, turn off, light, add device, office 1, office 2 and office 3. And that's it. We have now configured a light switch exactly to my liking. With this waiting for a trigger helper, one could certainly take the whole thing to the extreme. One could also think of various patterns that need to be pressed to execute certain actions. You could switch the lights into different scenes or moods. So the possibilities are now virtually limitless. I hope I was able to help you with these tips to take your automation to the next level. If you have any tips on how to write automations even better, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I would of course be very happy about a rating. If you don't want to miss anything, click subscribe and I would say see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye. Yusen.